All right, so let's say that we do not like these uh, bricks in the background. Wouldn't it be nice if we could somehow remove them? There are many ways you could do this, right? Just to give, sorry, let me go back to this image, just to give uh, this group an idea, double click on the background so I can make it movable if I resize the canvas. I can put right here beside the adjustment layer, I can put a mask and a square like the one that just appeared with these adjustment layers will appear. Now, technically, if I paint with a brush, the foreground color here black on top of this, it will effectively remove, right, the image around, in this case, to print. All right. And then what I could do is I could add here, add a layer, place it behind to preen and then fill with foreground color, right? Fill with, uh, sorry, background color because I want white behind, let, or let's say that that's what I want. Then the white would appear behind to preen. And I, if I kept painting, you know, on the layer to remove this background, I could continue to do this. I'm gonna undo all of this, go back in time with my history palette right here, okay, all the way here. I'm gonna go back to where I had done this adjustment on to preen. And I can show you another tool, which is the select tool, wand. Now, Photoshop has perfected uh, this tool, uh, uh, you know, every year has improved it. Now it's got a select, select subject tool which is incredibly good. Basically, it selects, and this is something that you can explore with Lasso tool, which is right here, and Magic Wand tool, which is right here. You can select out, all right, an area here. So let's say I want to add, I want to block these bricks by adding on a hue. What would I do? I would add a layer space to be able to work with. I'm selected here, all right? I would inverse the selection. This is getting funky. So I would inverse the selection to select the background here, not to preen. And I would then edit fill, right? With, if I want white, the background color because this is the color here in the background. And this would effectively uh fill in this spot and then i could deselect layers and remove sorry let me just undo that i usually do it with so command d is deselect tada you now have an isolated image against white and what you can do then is zoom into the image to the edges and refine these with a brush if you like okay so just to show you that this can be really like a good tool, you can really refine, sorry, put a mask. You can refine what you're doing here and make the edges even better. Trying to take away this effect here. Here we go. To bring back some of the edges of the clothes, to bring back some of the hair. So I think that brings us to a pretty comfortable spot in terms of there's a lot of homework, a lot of exploring to do. And I hand it back over to Tabreen. Enjoy Photoshop, everybody.